push back. Just no down left at the end. Good. kitchen and I'm freaking hungry. Are you hungry, baby? Starve me. Yeah? yeah? All right. So do you want a waffle, a pancake, or a brownie? What do you want to make first? I want to make the waffle because I want to try the waffle. Okay. You do the waffle. I'll do the brownie. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got 60 grams here of the rice flour from Grindstone Blends. We're going to add that in. We're making the pancake. We are making the waffle. Oh, the waffle. <laughs> and I've got one <laughs> teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of salt, unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna add 125 grams. I should get you to mix it all in. Okay, you wanna do the honors? Oh gosh. All right, baby, go what, for it. What's the fork for? The fork is oh, just so kind like, of our, our okay, whisk. Okay, okay, okay. We right. have a whisk, I think. Let's whisk it up. Let's whisk it up. Do you want a up. real one? Oh, we got a fork. We're forking it. Okay. Oh, this is for the icing stand here and look pretty. You're doing a great job, baby. Oh, I know what you can do. You can grab me the non-stick oil okay. spray. Perfect. Put me to work. Yep. The reason why I'm using the flour is because it's going to get us a better baking consistency as opposed to using the cream of rice, which is so a little hard. bit more of a granulated texture. This is a very fine texture. And this rice flour here is a combination of black rice and white rice. So we're gonna be getting a massive boost of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, which is gonna be also really good for our gut health. Okay? Oh, 60. That's yeah. like on my high days. I know, right? Bulk, I'm in bulk. Do you want me to spray the pan now? Yeah, let's see. Top and bottom? Yep. You can tell I don't cook. Perfect. Top and bottom. Nah, no, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, our batter. Ooh, that's the sound you want to hear. That is the sound you want to hear. Okay, we'll do half the batter first. Close it up. Is that going to be enough? Oh, yeah. Jeez. All right, baby, do you want to start making the next one there? What am I doing? You're going to put six for yours, six, uh, 50 grams. 40. 40 grams. Okay, I need a bowl. No, no, all the bowls are right there. And, and then I'll just use the same bowl. This little bowl? Oh, I'm making yeah. the brownie? Yeah. Okay. I know how to make this one because I make it all the time, guys. Show them, show them how it's done, baby. Okay, so we're going to make my favorite, the cream of rice flour brownie. So we're going to do 40 grams of this guy. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. Right on the dot. Okay, and then we use black cocoa powder. So this stuff, jet black cocoa powder. I got it in the States. So I don't even know if it's available in Canada, but I bought it like, like probably like four years ago. Okay, back in the day when I was buying this stuff, they didn't carry it in Canada anywhere. Anywhere. It's kind of like um, Oreo. Oh, I just eyeball it. I just put a, a good scoop. A good amount. Yeah, so that's, that's you can five do- five grams. The, oh, that was, yeah, that was yeah. five grams. Oh yeah. Duh, look at the scale. Okay, and then we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. It's more than enough for this amount. I love watching you cook. Why? It looks so good when you cook. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Baby. We're on camera here. Okay, cinnamon. Well, You're I... an incredible baker. That's for sure one skill that, you have. That is true. Now, yeah. Now snotty cookies are out of this world. So you yeah, but I retired. Brownie. Business. <laughs> threw away the business. <laughs> I haven't baked in like so long. This stuff's easy though. 
This is just like, yeah, you just want it to be like a consistency, still um, battery, you know what I mean? So you're gonna mix that in. Yeah, and I might have to add a little bit more almond milk so I see like it's kind of dry. One down. He just puts everything away. All right. And for this one, I'm actually gonna add in my blueberries as well. Oh, that'll be good. I have to tell you guys my little secret. This is not going to be sweet. Like, there's nothing that's sweet about this right now. So for what I do, where is it? I add sugar-free maple syrup. You can get this at Walmart. Steph, you need this for your recipes. Everyone always asks you about the maple syrup. <laughs> so I just, like, honestly, just a little bit. That was a lot, but it's okay. This is what I do. You can also sweeten it with stevia, but we don't have any of the good, our good stevia left. So this is, what I do. <laughs> this is why I don't bake. Okay. Brownie cookies. Yeah, that was You're great. also the brownie queen. The brownie queen. I, I do make the brownie amazing. Okay, I'll clean my hands, guys. Um, and that's about it. Now we're just going to pop it in the microwave for, I do one minute for this. And that's all you need. That's it. Okay, yeah, it's sweet enough, we're good. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. Do you have to watch it at all or do you nope. just? Nope, it just goes right in. <laughs> it's, what, how long do you put yours in normally for? Um, generally I put it in for like three minutes. In the microwave? Yeah. Because this is a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. okay. But mine's like a small amount and it's a small bowl. Like Robin uses the big bowls when he makes them or like the big containers. I use the little baby ones. Yeah. Because of my baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for my post workout meal, I also get 80 grams of blueberries. So I've put half of them into one of the waffles. The other half, we're going to kind of just put it in the microwave as a topping for the other waffle. Oh, baby, here we go. Oh, baby. Let's see. The reveal. Oh, that looks good. Ooh. That looks good. All right. Let's... Those are turning out so good. There it is. Let's bring it in nice and close. All right. And now, this is the fun part. We're going to make our icing. The brownie's ready, too, guys. Oh, yeah, nice. look at that. Right, Sometimes if, it, if it's like a little bit wet, you can put it in for like 10 more seconds, but this is perfect. Came up perfect. Came up my right, love. love. What would you like to use for your icing today? Are you going to use vanilla? Are you going to use chocolate peanut butter? Vanilla. Vanilla? All is right. that vanilla? This or is that vanilla. your vanilla? This is my vanilla. I've got two scoops in here. Okay. So we're going to do one scoop for you. Okay, so one scoop for me. We're doing the vanilla. And two scoops for me. Yep. Okay. So we're going to be using Vanilla Pro HD for this one. Now this is a very delicate process. To make the correct consistency of icing, you want to add a little bit of water at a time. Give it a good stir. And remember the rule is, you can always add more water, you cannot add less. Okay. Add little bits at a time. Okay, yeah. I think that, that should be good for mine. It's our protein ice cream. I mean icing. <laughs> oh, Whoa. here, do you want this? This is better. You like this one. We're already in too deep, baby. Okay, we're, we're in too deep. deep. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. The hunger's kicking in. The excitement's kicking in. Okay, now I'll, I'll take that now. Um, spatula. Thank you. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's yours, it's yours. That's yeah, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Always gives me the lick. We share, okay. What's now, mine is yours. We're gonna take the icing. This is the part that everybody loves. This is the part that is so delicious. You don't even need like any other toppings. Like all you need is like, this is this sweetens it for him. Yeah. Cause he doesn't sweeten the pancake or the waffle, right? No, I don't add any sweetener no. to mine. And I'll show you mine in a sec, why mine. So there we go. And now we're gonna finish it off. Oh my God. Boom. And there it is right there. The waffles. 
finished off the brownie. So same thing as Robin did, we're gonna add water. So I only have one scoop of protein here. Oh yeah, Robin likes to put it on the plate. There's only one scoop of protein here, so just make sure you don't put too much water because it's not as much as Robin. Oh, well, Layla wants to be included. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That looks so good. Nice. Basically from the highest tech of using a waffle maker to just doing pancakes on a pan to low tech, easy, foolproof brownies. That's why we love this recipe because it's super, super it, like, easy. It takes like five minutes to make. Like it's not complicated. Okay, so we're gonna put my icing on top of the brownie. There we go. You can see mine's like a little bit more runny than Robin's just because I probably put a little bit more water, but this is perfect for me. Gives you more of like a full coat. Because I want to cover mine because I don't have yeah. as much as him, right? And like, that's why I sweeten mine more, like the actual brownie, because he has two scoops of protein, which is gonna be like way more sweeter. Then before I'm finished, I'm gonna add macadamia nut butter. So we like to top it with that. 10 grams. 11 is good enough. And we're just gonna, we love macadamia nut butter also. It's so good. Okay, and then some cinnamon, some salt. And there you have it, macros. So that is 40 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein. No, it's not 40 grams of carbs. Yes, it is. No, because it's 40 grams of the cream of rice. Yes, plus the macadamia nut butter has three okay, grams. Okay, okay, okay. Just listen to him. <laughs> so this, this brownie right here has 40 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, and with the added macadamia nut butter, we're getting 10 grams of healthy fats. Looks good, yeah. All right. Okay, let's eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Starving, let's dig in. And cheers, right? All right, let's cheers. Such a loser. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, man. If Robin wasn't on prep, we would share. Yeah, we can't do that. If it wasn't on prep, I'd be doing like six or seven waffles. <laughs> so good. Seriously, it's like a party in my mouth right now. So you guys can use code STRONG to pick up some of your rice flour and cream of rice from Grindstone Blends. And tag us in the comments below if you try these recipes. Code STRAND for Pro HD. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let stuff eat this thing. Just make another one. That's so we good. We have to make it again. Yeah. Anyway, so just eat it. I'll yeah. eat the next one. Okay. Like we literally need You'll, You can Look wait, you're good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Right there. That was next level. Look at that. Show me. It's brownie consistency. Yeah, that's crazy, that one. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Amazing, like, how we can nail the texture with a very simple recipe that anybody can do. Like I said, it's foolproof, so. And like, also, if your amounts are different, like, because everyone follows, like, their own diet plan, you, you don't have to do 40 grams of cream of rice flour. You can do 50, you can do six. Like, just yeah. base it on what's, what your macros are. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If you're hungrier, if you're less hungry, whatever. For my boys trying to get big in the off season, you can easily get well over 100 grams of carbs, and it's so easily digested that you're not gonna bloat or anything like that. Amazing for pre-workout, post-workout, breakfast. Hell, even have, have it as a dessert before bed. I have it twice a day. <laughs> I literally have it for two meals a day. Do you really? I do, I have it for my last meal and my uh, pre-workout meal. The rice flour specifically? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I used to do like, I used to mix it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but now I just do the brownie and like I used to have oats right before bed, but I just like feel better on the cream of rice, like digest rice better, yeah. rice flour. It's Both funny. of it, whatever, all the grindstone stuff. It's yeah. funny too, because the grindstone blends, the rice flour and the cream of rice actually has a lower glycemic index than oats do. So mm. it's good for a bedtime snack. You're not snack bloated. Too. Yeah, and you're not bloated, exactly. That's good. She just wants a brownie. I know, poor baby. She, does want she a brownie. wants a little waffle and a little brownie. She wants to come up. Yeah, that's good. It's like you never want it to end. Mm -mm. Especially on prep. <laughs> <laughs> So good. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow, like, and, and, and comment below and let us know if you try these recipes. And ring the bell. <laughs>